welcome back to my youtube channel again so mwalimu rgg please subscribe uh and let's get to the video so mwalimu rgg presents uh the course outline of general building construction that is gbc3 for students taking diploma in civil engineering and diploma in building technology that topic we have framed construction under that we have types of framed construction materials cladding fire protection facing curtain walling infill panels and method used in framed construction topic two we have staircases under that we have subtopics terminologies types of stairs materials uh, kenya building codes requirements uh -huh. calculation for raisers and goings and construction method of stairs Topic three, we have temporary works, stroke form works. That is under that we'll have uh, subtopics, form work requirements, material for form work, methods for erecting and striking form work, and load distribution. Topic four, we have scaffolding. Under that, we have different types of scaffolding, technical terms for, par for part of a scaffold, safety uh, precautions to be observed on scaffolding, erecting scaffolding. Five, we'll have shoring. Under that, subtopics, the term shoring, parts of a shore, materials used in shoring and three systems of shoring six we'll have underpinning under that we have functional requirements of underpinning materials used in underpinning and describe two types of underpinning seven we have demolition under that we have components of building to be demolished demolition procedure survey of building survey a building or structure to be demolished safety de during demolition methods of demolition and environmental requirement of waste disposal eight topic number eight we have wall finishes that is tiling under that we have tools and requirement used for laying tiles materials for laying tiles types of tiles for a particular purpose methods of preparation background to receive tiles preparing background to receive tiles procedure for fixing tiles fixi fixing tiles to a, a given background reasons for cleaning tiles tools and equipment after completion of tiling and lastly we have cleaning tiles tools and equipment and work area topic number nine we have plastering under that we have subtopics tools and equipment used in plastering Selecting the materials for plastering, methods of preparing a given background for plastering, procedure of applying plasters on a given background, prepare materials for plastering, preparing background for plastering, and applying plaster on a given background. Topic 10. We'll have pointing and jointing. Under that, we'll have subtopics, assemble tools and equipment used in jointing and pointing, selecting materials for pointing and jointing, appreciate joint, joint for a given purpose, methods of preparing a given 
background for pointing and jointing, procedure procedure pointing and jointing on a given background. Uh -huh. Materials for pointing and jointing, preparing background for pointing and jointing, and lastly, pointing and jointing on a given background. Topic 11, you have facing unit. Under that, you have tools and equipment used for facing walls. Materials for wall facing, methods of preparing a given background for facing, procedure of facing on a given background, prepare materials for facing, and lastly we have prepare background for fixing facing. 12, we have painting and decoration. Under that we have uh, subtopics, tools and materials used in painting. Mixing paint, preparing surface for painting, procedure for painting, protection, pro protect the finished paintwork, caring and maintaining painting tools and equipment, safety precaution when painting, and painting on a given surface. Oh, so 14 floor finishes some skid uh, under that we have reasons for choosing Sanskrit uh, a floor finish as a floor finish selecting materials for preparing mortar to be used for squeezing tools and equipment used for laying Sanskrit Methods for preparing background to receive Sanskrit, preparing backgrounds to receive Sanskrit, preparation mortar for Sanskriting, uh, procedure of applying Sanskrit, applying Sanskrit appropriately. Floor finish, granule hick finish. Hmm. Factors that leads to choosing granolithic uh concrete floor finish materials for granolithic uh, concrete floor finish tools and equipment used for laying a granolithic concrete floor preparing a background for laying gra granolithic concrete and laying uh, granolithic concrete to a given background uh -huh. 16, we have floor finish, terrazzo screed. Under that, we have tools and equipment used for laying terrazzo, materials for terrazzo, mix uh, materials uh, for terrazzo finish, procedure for laying terrazzo, laying terrazzo on a given area of floor, grinding surface to get a smooth surface which can be cleaned easily. 17, topic number 17, you have floor finishes, tiling, uh -huh, tools and equipment used for floor, for laying floor tiles, materials for laying floor tiles, selecting tiles for a given purpose, identification of tiles for a given purpose, procedure of laying floor tiles. 18, we have floor finishes, timber floor finishes. Under that, we have factors that warrants the use of timber as a floor finish, types of timber floor finish, materials for laying timber floor finish, and procedure of laying timber floor finishes. We have doors. Under that subtopics, we have functional requirements of doors, types of doors, construction of timber doors, Identifying doors furniture, preparing doors schedule, procedure of fixing a door, and installing door onto a door frame. 20. We have windows, 
and glazing. Under that we have subtopics, functional requirement of windows, types of windows, construction of wood, casement windows, identification of window furniture, preparing window schedules, fixing windows, installing of windows, and glazing of windows. 21, topic number 21, we have fixtures and fittings, that's wardrobes. Under that, we have different types of wardrobes, selecting materials for wardrobe construction, procedure of wardrobe construction, designing a wardrobe, preparing a cutting list for constructing a wardrobe, and constructing an inbuilt wardrobe. 22, that's topic number 22, we have fixtures and fittings, that is kitchen fitments. Under that, we have different types of kitchen fit fittings, materials used for the construction of kitchen fitments, designing kitchen fitments, mm, preparing a cutting list for a kitchen cabinet, procedure of constructing kitchen cabinet, and constructing cabinet, ah, kitchen cabinet construction. 23, we have fixtures. Under that, we have different types of fixtures. Uh -huh. Materials used in making fixtures, method used in making fixtures, method of installing fixings, designing various fixings, and installing fixings. 24, we have a ceiling. Uh -huh. Subtopics, we have reasons for using ceilings on buildings, functional requirements of ceilings, types of ceilings, selecting materials, used for making ceilings, procedure of constructing different types of ceilings, constructing various types of ceilings. 25, we have interior design. Under that, we have determining client's requirements, selecting appropriate material for a given situation, appropriate shape for a given requirement, selecting the appropriate color for a given requirement, selecting the appropriate surface a texture for a given requirement, designing the interior of a given room, and assembling the construction, uh, the constructing, ah, assembling, sorry, assembling and constructing the interior according to the requirement. So that's the, that's the last topic, please. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and uh, comment down below. For more, this is Mualimu RGG, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.